YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We got another Washington football team video, and in today's video, we have some breaking news revolving around the Washington football team earlier this morning. So, without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified and upload a video about the NFL. In this case, our Washington football team. And let's get straight into today's video. So, Washington, like I said, has some breaking news at the top of the morning. They are set to hire former Panthers general manager and now our general manager Marty Herney yes you heard it here first Ian Rappaport broke it about 30 minutes ago and honestly I'm not surprised I know there's a lot of mixed emotions and Ian Rappaport is never wrong well at least I never experienced him being wrong Ian Rappaport is very is probably one of the few NFL reporters that you can really rely on because there are a lot of reporters out there that really make things up and don't know what they're talking about and Ian Rappaport is one of the few um, reporters that you can really rely on. Now, if you guys know anything about his past, about him lying, then that's tell me because obviously I'm missing out. But I'm going to just tell you guys now, Ian Rappaport is never wrong. I never experienced Ian Rappaport being wrong about his reports. Um, no pun intended. But honestly... Ian Rappaport breaking this news brings no surprise to my face and nor should it bring surprise to your face because Ron Rivera bringing in another former, um, I was about to call him Washington Panthers, but another former Carolina Panther, it should not come to no surprise. I mean, he basically brought in his whole coaching staff last year, here this year, and even the training staff. So him adding another another piece on the cake should not make it no surprise. I mean, now it's probably the worst one yet. I guess Get that but it should not be no surprise to any Washington fans out there that Marty Herney is now joining the general manager spot and when he when his name first came up in the conversation we could have really wrote it off there that he was going to become the general manager because I mean it's, it's clear what Ron Rivera wants to build here he wants to have guys that he trusts he guys that he knows is going to do the job correctly and although in our eyes we're like man this dude is trash and obviously in Panthers fans eyes he doesn't doesn't know what he's doing clearly so this is probably the first move that Ron Rivera has made that I really don't agree with a report came out and said that Carolina when they were looking for a head coach Marty Herney hired Ron Rivera and then now in Washington the, re the roles reversed Ron Rivera is now hiring Marty Herney so they're saying it's still Ron Rivera's team um, and we don't know how true that is, but I'm pretty sure it is true because Ron Rivera is not the type of person that allows someone to come in here and ruin his um, franchise that he's trying to build. But at the same time, just him having him in his ear could probably affect some decisions that he normally would have made on his own. Now, the other thing I can think of, me personally, uh, I guess a good thing, and with us, and it's kind of tying into him not really having no control, is Ron Rivera only brought him in here so he can focus on off the field issues like the Dan Snyder questions. He could be the one answering them. You know, anytime a player gets cut or anytime a player acts out, the general manager manager could be the one answering them instead of Ron Rivera having to answer them because he wants to focus solely on football and Ron Rivera already came out and admitted that you know this year that he want to focus solely on football and not have to answer any questions about office issues you know front office issues he wants to leave that up to a general manager and that brings in me that brings my next person in here Kyle Smith maybe he just didn't think Kyle Smith was good enough to run the job of that maybe he wanted to bring in a guy and in this case he did he wanted to bring in a guy that he knows he trusts and he has a relationship with more than a year to answer those questions because he knows he's going to answer them right. That's what I'm thinking. That's really the positive outlook that I'm trying to make from this hire is that he really brought him in so he can answer the Dan Snyder questions instead of have instead of him having to do it and he could focus solely on football. That's really the positive outlook I can look from it, but I could very well be wrong and they can very well run it how they did in Carolina and I'm hoping that's not the case, but at least with this hire, I can't we got a general manager now right now honestly speaking this is not the guy I wanted you guys know the person I wanted we all wanted Kyle Smith but we already came out and said that Kyle Smith wasn't going to be the option the next guy that I wanted I did a report on you know when I do an actual breakdown and a report on the on like a person that you know I really am attached to the person as far as for the Washington football team speaking and I did a whole breakdown on Ryan Coden because I thought he was the best fit for Washington and in fact I was 
was just doing my due diligence and going through all the GMs. I was going to do all the GM candidates, but it was, got cut short by today because we're hiring Marty Herney. Now, with Ryan Coden, his track record is so good. He has a track record of turnaround franchises. When he was at Carolina, that's when they were at their high. Then when he went to Tennessee, now you see they're at their high. And unfortunately, we're not going to get a guy like that, and we're going to get an old fart in Marty Herney, man. I mean, I'm not going to judge the guy just yet. Maybe he can be different here in Washington, but like based off of his you know back track record, it's not really that good as far as being a general manager standpoint. Now, he has made some good selections in the draft as far as drafting Thomas Davis. He's been with the team since 2002, so he drafted Julius Pepper, Thomas Davis, Cam Newton. Luke Keekly, you know, Star Luda Lele. He has a lot of good, you know, players that he's drafted. D'Angelo Williams, maybe Jonathan Stewart, if you want to throw him in there. He drafted solid players. Like Ron Rivera said, it's more to being a general manager than being able to scout talent or draft talent, if you want to say he's done a good job at that. But at the same time, I understand what Ron Rivera is trying to say here, but obviously this guy isn't good at doing other things besides scouting talent. But like I said, my theory that I have out there, and I'm hopefully hoping that it's going to be right, is that they only brought him in here so he can basically answer Dan Snyder questions and worry about the front office things and Ron Rivera having to worry about that mid-season and worry about the Dan Snyder stuff, about you know the allegations that he's going through, the ownership problems that he's going through instead of Ron Rivera having to answer that while he has to worry about a, a football season and having to coach a whole team he can pass that on to Marty Herney and his general manager so that's the real reason why I think he was hired and I'm hoping that is true because if it's not and then they're basically running a duo of Ron Rivera and Marty Herney I'm not too excited about that journey I'm excited about the Ron Rivera part but his counterpart Marty Herney I'm not too excited about if that's the case but if the other case or other scenario like I said the one that I'm thinking it's going to be is him by basically just being there to answer questions and basically there to be a puppet I guess you can say then I like that option but if he's here to basically run the team I'm not liking that and I don't think Ron Rivera is going to allow that but at the same time like I alluded to earlier in the video is that him being there is going to have some effect on Ron Rivera's decision making whether you like it or not because Ron Rivera is going to obviously take his um, opinion into consideration whether that's with drafting players, personnel decisions, coaching decisions, whatever. He's going to take his friend and the person that hired him in Carolina, he's going to take his opinion much more than he would take anyone else's opinion. So I honestly want to go with a hey, Ron Rivera is just moving him here so he can you know answer the dance side of questions. But I honestly think that he's going to have some say in what goes down in Washington. I'm hoping that's not the case because Marty Herney does not have the best track record as far as outside of scouting talent. Put that outside. Put that aside. As far as just being a regular general manager, Carolina Panthers fans hate this dude. And they already on social media saying send your prayers to Washington. So that is not a good sign if your former team is sending us prayers, essentially what I'm trying to say. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is that that with this hire, is it likely that we sign Cameron Newton? I'm going to be honest, yes. I really do think that with this hire, the possibility of signing Cam Newton has really rose. I don't know if that's what they're looking for, but if they want to be in win-now mode and they want a cheap veteran, a guy like Cam Newton is somebody that they can look into bringing. I don't want Cam Newton. I don't want Cam Newton. I think he is done. I want to draft our own. I want to get another veteran if we can. If we can't draft our own guy, I will want that more than getting Cam Newton. really believe that Cam Newton is really an option now, man, and this is really about to become the Washington Panthers. It already has became Washington Panthers before Marty Herney came. Now with him on the verge of finalizing his deal with Washington to become the next general manager, we're really the Washington Panthers. Change that logo from a W to a burgundy and yellow Panther, man, because we're literally the Washington Panthers, man. And more news is going to come out about this hire. This isn't the last video on Marty Herney, but it's not the biggest, it's not the news that I wanted to hear first thing in the morning because this is not the guy that I wanted. And unfortunately, looking like this is the guy we're going to get, 
But, you know, I got to say, I'm going to hop in a car and ride with Ron Rivera wherever he takes us because he's a good coach and he came in the first year and turned this organization around somewhat. And hopefully it continues and hopefully Marty Herney is just here to answer questions and not having to say, not really having any say in what goes on around the draft room, free agencies, or even the front office. But only time will tell. And although the team hasn't really made it official, it's official because Ian Rappaport reported it. And he doesn't have any bad history on reporting or false reporting that I've seen. Let me know how you guys feel about this move. I think I already know how everyone's going to feel about this move. Similar to me. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're clueless. We're not happy with the decision. But we're going to all ride with it and see where it takes us. All I can say for Marty Herney is at least give him a chance. But... I'm not liking this move. So, as always, this has been Boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe, help to watch the football team. Let me know how you guys feel about this move and this hire. Don't forget to send your questions to be a part of Watch the Football Team weekly questions or Q&A. Email link is in the description so you can send your questions to my email. And I know a lot of the questions are going to revolve around this move. I can't wait to attack them and answer them for next Monday's Q&A. Let me know how you guys feel about this hire. Like, comment, subscribe, help to watch the football team. It's been Boy Juan Gotti. I'm out. Peace.